go over the supplies you'll need to make these iron-on rhinestone patches. You're going to need a cutting mat for either a Cameo or a Cricut machine. You will need rhinestone flock. If you don't have a rhinestone flock or make your own templates, you can purchase some pre-cut templates that you can use for your patches. You'll also need some felt or you can use duck fabric. Either one works really good for iron-on patches. You also need a heat and bond adhesive. I like to use the Ultra Hold. You will need a pair of scissors. You'll also need some hot fix rhinestones that you'll be using for your design. I'm doing a multicolor design, so I'll be using two colors. And you're also going to need either a heat press or an iron. And one thing I didn't show here, you'll also need some hot fix tape. We are here in Silhouette Studio. I am using Business Edition, but you only need the uh, Designer Edition to have access to the rhinestone panel. So I've already created my template and as well as an offset to my design. And I'll let you know about that in just a minute. But in case you do not know how to create rhinestone templates, I will go ahead and link a card up above. I also have a couple videos linked in the description box as far as um, making rhinestone templates for beginners, as well as converting rhinestone, I'm sorry, SVGs into rhinestone templates. So I'll make sure to have that information linked for you in the description box. So here I have my multicolor design that I'm going to use as an example for making a rhinestone patch. Now before I converted this SVG image, I did an offset. And this is going to make it a lot easier as far as when you're creating your actual patch and putting the adhesive on and this way you won't have to cut out all the felt it'll your machine your cutter machine will do it for you so you'll just kind of line it up on your design and put your rhinestones lay them on top of that and then I'm going to do the same with my adhesive I'm also going to cut that out so it'll be a perfect fit to my felt material that I'm going to use so I'm going to move this offset off to the side because I don't need to cut that right now. Right now I just need to cut my rhinestone template. So I'm going to actually move this over just a little bit and I'm gonna go over to the shapes and grab a box and I'm just going to put a box around the image just because this is a multicolor image and I'm gonna just move that up a little bit. Okay, I'm good with that. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of move my image in here just a little bit. All right, so we are good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the send button. And again, this is a multicolor template, so it is going to cut two different templates so the first one i'm going to do is going to be the black and then i also want to make sure i get that outline that box so i'm going to select that as well so right now it's just going to cut the black part of this hill as well as this outline box so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then I'm also going to cut the second part and then I'll be right back. I'll take you guys over to the table and we'll create our transfer and then from there we'll create our rhinestone patch. So I'll be back in just a minute. To cut out the iron on adhesive you will need to use your rotary blade so make sure that you close your first cartridge and then the material that you want to select is going to be felt acrylic and then select rotary cut all right so i've cut out my um felt piece of my image and this is what it will look like 
And so now all we have to do is create our rhinestone transfer and then we can press everything together. So let's go ahead and get our transfer all set to go. Okay, and I also did the same with my um, heat and bond, my iron on adhesive. So I also cut this out as well. And for this, I just did HTV glitter for the setting. And you want to have the smooth side down on your mat and the rough side up. All right, so now I have my adhesive. I'm going to just set that off to the side. I don't need that right now. As well as my felt cutout, I'll set that over there. Um, one thing I did forget to mention for supplies, you will need hot fix tape. So this is what you will need to lift your rhinestone design with. Whether you're creating your own or whether you have a pre-cut template, you're going to need hot fix tape. And so I have the rhinestones here that I'm going to use. And I have my two images cut out. So this will be the red part of the shoe. And then this is the part that will be the main part of the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and start actually with the smaller part. And the supplies you will need be just a painter's brush and you can get these at any um like home depot or lowe's walmart pretty much any of those stores will have them and so i'm gonna just peel this off and put this down and put my stones on there and brush those in So then I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And because this is the bottom part of the shoe, I'm going to put it more towards the bottom, but leave enough room for, of course, the rest of the shoe. Then I'm going to just go ahead and put that backing paper back on and just set that off to the side for right now. And I'm going to place this template because the rhinestone templates are reusable. Just place it right back on the backing paper for my next use. And then we'll go ahead with the bigger piece. And I was deciding if I wanted to go ahead and do a black or if I wanted to do a crystal AB. So I'm actually, hmm, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a black. Do the heels in black versus doing them in the crystal AB. I'll probably end up doing both, but I just think the black with the red bottom will look really good. So same thing, just pour my stones on there, grab my brush, and just brush, brush, brush until they fall in. Sometimes if the stones don't all fall in, I'll just grab a tweezers and then go back through and just fill in any missing spaces throughout the template. But you can just, you know, kind of keep brushing until they fall in.
Okay, so now we're ready to line our design up with our template. So I'm gonna carefully peel that backing off. And now if you are, <clears throat> excuse me, now if you are doing multicolor templates, you can use a dry erase board, lay your tape on the side and just lift uh, with each piece, just kind of overlap your templates. But I'm just going to go ahead and do what I do. And I'm good right there. I'm going to just go ahead and lay it down. Then I'm also going to go turn on my heat press. So while we're getting this transfer finished up, my press can be warming up. And if you're using a heat press, I do like to have mine. Um, for these transfers, I do 335 degrees and I have it on there for 30 seconds because I am going to have to press the backing onto the um, felt. So the rhinestones are going to get a second press anyway. So I found either this scraper or even this roller works really good to make sure all the stones get attached to your hot fix tape. going to peel up slowly just in case not some stones don't stick like that one I'll just lay it back down press and it sticks to the tape all right so we are good to go and I'm gonna go ahead and still put this backing back on here And I'm actually going to just trim this down a little bit. You don't have to do this. This is just something I normally do. And that's also extra hot fix tape that I could still use for something else. All right, and same thing, I'm going to go ahead and lift up this template and just put it back on the backing paper. And that one got stuck, so there we go. And then just to show you all some of the iron-on transfers I have made. The Sunflower um, Queen is another one. As well as this uh, Bumblebee, which is a multicolor. And then this is Glitter. So I used HTV Glitter, pressed that to the felt, and then I put the rhinestones on top of the HTV Glitter. And then same thing, put the adhesive back in on there. So these patches are really fun and cute. They definitely um, add a lot of shine to whatever you're going to be putting them on. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the heat press and then we will get this wrapped up. 
Okay, so now I have my piece of felt that I'm gonna place on my heat press. And then I'm carefully going to line up my rhinestones on to my felt. And once you have everything placed where it needs to be, then I'm gonna go ahead and press this at 335 degrees for 35 seconds. I'm sorry, for 30 seconds. And I also need to turn down the heat on my press and I'm going to turn my heat down to 300 degrees for 10 seconds. So while that is my press is getting to the right temperature, I'm going to go ahead and peel back my hot fix tape. And so far that looks really good. So now, while my press is getting ready, what I normally do is just go ahead and lay down my iron-on adhesive and start to line up my patch over that. You want to make sure that you have it exactly where it needs to be. So that way when you do iron this patch on, that it does stick securely. Okay, and I have it exactly where I want it. And we're almost at the temperature we need to be. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and press. Again, this is 300 degrees for 10 seconds. So you don't want to press it for too long. And then again, that's going to be really, really hot. Now I do have a Teflon sheet on the top plate on my press. So if you don't have something covering your top plate, make sure you put down a Teflon sheet to cover your patch. And there she is. All right, so we're all finished up. There's the backing and then you would just peel that off and that is what will reveal that um, backing on there, that shiny adhesive backing. And then that way you could go ahead and press that onto your patch. And so just this here, you just peel that off and then you have that adhesive backing. And then you'll only really need to press when you are peeling off the backing for these patches, you'll only need to press them for about 15 seconds at 300 degrees if you're using a heat press or you can use a high heat if you're using an iron, but you don't want to put on one patch and then press it, put on another patch, press it, put on another patch, press it. Line everything up and then do one press at a time, especially if you're doing it like in one section because your patches will start to burn out. They won't stick. They'll start lifting. So make sure when you're putting a cluster of patches or a bunch of patches on a particular item that you kind of get your placement together and then press as many patches as one time at one time as you can that way your patches will stick and adhere to your garment like they're supposed to so i love the way this turned out if you guys have any questions drop them below in the comments and i will definitely answer so i will check you all out in the next video bye